Hello, beautiful people. It is your girl, Alyssa, and welcome to the Chic Marie family, the Chic Marie channel. I am back. Ooh, it's been a long time. I got different hair. Who is she? Who is she? I'm still your girl, Alyssa, and today we're going to get into uh, like a get ready with me chit chat makeup trying out new makeup um yes so if you miss me as much as i miss you guys please keep on watching if you are new to the family you just clicking on this video girl welcome you are right on time about to get into this q4 action and really just end the year off fantastic so let's go ahead and get started okay so we chatting today it's probably gonna be hard for me to edit this because it's gonna be a whole lot of talking but I will be doing my makeup at the same time and trying to talk about the products and link them below and have them listed so you can know what I'm using. But I already did my skincare routine. I am going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base because baby, this face base is the bomb. I'm still on the mini size, you see? I ain't bought the full size yet and it's been lasting. So, we're gonna keep using this. First of all, I love the smell. It smells like vitamin C, like orange citrus. Yes. It's giving citrus. It's giving goodness. Love it. I also have this little sample of the eye cream that I'm about to go ahead and use as well. So my brows, I just filmed a brow tutorial, kind of like a first impressions using the Benefit Palmate, brow palmate. Yes, girl. So that is gonna come up really soon right after this video. So stay tuned for that. You can let me know how my brows are looking though in the comments below because I think they're looking pretty good. This is some of the Bobbi Brown eye cream. The uh, face base, this eye cream, it really helps with the product. It helps the product lay smoothly and just with moisture. We pack the powders and pack the product more. So you want to definitely prep the skin. And it just smells so good. Like it's so, look at the skin. The skin is giving already. I feel like I should do the eyes, huh? I probably should do the eyes. And I'm not even gonna do much. Y'all know I don't do much with eyes. All right, we're using new products. I got a new palette, let's see. I got these mini palettes from Juvia's Place. I have the taupes and the chocolates here and here. This is the chocolates. <clears throat> Very pretty. <coughs> oh! And this is the taupes. I feel like I might only use the chocolates, but I have the taupes here in case I need a lighter um, shadow to blend out with. I'm gonna take this Benefit Boing Concealer and just plop some on the lid. So actually y'all, this Benefit Boing Concealer, it actually ain't nothing to play with. It serves up coverage, y'all see? You see, right? <laughs> it serves up coverage and it's very like smooth. I feel like Benefits is so focused on brows because they do it so well. But these concealers are really good. It's actually what I use to carve out my brows as well. But you guys will see that in the next video. Because I don't want it to crease. This is the Lord, what is this? Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Honey. I'm just stamping this in just to set it with the same brow brush. Or the same blending brush we just used to apply the concealer. Grabbing the chocolate palette, I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here. You guys, what have y'all been up to? <laughs> what have y'all been up to? It's so good to be back. I feel um, very excited. I've been very excited to film this makeup tutorial. I have uh, been planning out content because I didn't want to come back with just one video and then be like, I'm back and it'd be a whole week week and a half, two weeks to my next video because I'm steady trying to film and edit because that's really the the thing. Like, you know, you have to film, then you have to edit, you know? <laughs> so I have a good amount of videos um, already created. I haven't edited them, but you know, they already there. And I wanted to make this one my first one because this is a chat and we're just talking about life. How have you guys been? I've actually been really good. I'm very thankful and blessed. I'm still enjoying my move here to Texas. Now, if you are new to my channel and this is your first time clicking on my video, my name is Alyssa. Hey girl. I am from Chicago, but I recently moved to Texas and it's been going good. It's been going great. I'm happy to be here. Um, I have 
friends here, met really nice people, and I love my apartment, and it's just really been going really good, so I'm very happy about that. I do have a video on my channel about my move and executing my move. If you are in the market right now, thinking about moving, trying to figure out how to get it done, I did list how I got it done, and I got it done during COVID, girl. This was the beginning of COVID. Everybody was freaking out. We didn't know what was going on, um, but I got it done, and the people who I got it done with, I will always count on them. I like this shade. I'm just steady building up that light brown shade in the crease because it's very pretty and I am enjoying it 100%. I feel like with my move here, I literally had to choose myself. I'm about to go on with that darker shade here. I literally had to choose myself. As we all know, COVID was very different. COVID was very different. We didn't know what was going on and we some people were by themselves. Me, I was by myself. Um, just to move to a new place. Don't really know what's going on. Working from home and just alone in the crib. But it was really a good time to be with myself and learn more about myself and to grow. So that's really what I've been doing, to be honest. Y'all wanna know why I've been there? I've been growing. I've been at the crib doing my thing and choosing myself. YouTube has always been a space of having fun and um, enjoying it. We come on my channel, we keep it positive, we play in makeup, but you have to be, well, I have to be feeling that way in real life. I can't come on here and act because I ain't no actress. And you know, if they ain't giving out YouTube Oscars, listen, I ain't heard of them. I mean, it's probably people on here acting, but more power to them. I'm actually a very honest and real person. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cliche to say that, but I'm sharing this with you because y'all know me in real life. I don't be walking around like, I'm real, I'm real. You know, like, girl, calm down. But, like, I always keep it, I'm going back in with that light brown shade just to blend this up. So I'll be going back in with the dark and the light, um, switching out the brushes. But, yeah, I always, like, keep it honest. I always do what's best for me. Um, which I had to learn to do that. So I really just took a break from YouTube because I wanted to put out the best content that I could and I wanted to actually want to do it. I didn't want to force it because this is not technically my job. For a lot of people, an influencer is their job. This is what I'm doing for fun. Now if it turns into a job and you guys pump me up and get my followers up and we, we go that route, that'd be great. I must still be the same. Alyssa Marie, OG for 79, come on. But right now for me it's definitely a hobby and i just i have it in me i did not have it in me to come on here and be like faking like to and i'm somewhere struggling by myself homesick stressed out girl trying to make sure i ain't got covid down here by myself so that's really like the honest truth of where i've been if you were wondering but just know that I am back and I am better. Come on. I went through the stage of being here alone and um, figuring that whole piece out. But it's been a while since I haven't, I haven't felt that way in a while. But I still just wasn't ready to come back to YouTube. I still was like out here just living my life. Um, living my best life, actually. You can definitely add me on Instagram. I'm always posting on my stories and just posting there because I've been exploring the city and just getting acclimated to my new home. I hope you guys are doing good. All of my my OG subscribers, I hope that you guys are still here with me and will click on this video and watch because uh, while this video is for all of my subscribers, those who don't comment, everyone who's a part of my family, those of you who comment and I actually know or know your name and I see your username or whatever, hello. And I hope that you are still with me. Um, thank you for a lot of people was commenting on my videos, checking up on me while I was like on my little break. I appreciate that, I do. Even those who I didn't even know, you know, follow me and things like that. I just appreciate all the love. I really do grow and gas. And you have been supporting me and helping me through this journey. I appreciate it. And I hope that you are excited to have me back on this here YouTube. I will be doing a lot of different content. I have up my sleeve, makeup, try on hauls, a little bit of lifestyle, 
and I'm going to do some cooking videos like I've always promised if you follow me on Instagram you see me cooking up a storm um, I've been trying to actually figure out the best way to film it for YouTube because I didn't know if I wanted to be like all right you guys and today we're cooking up blah 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 and like the camera on me and I'm talking and you watching what I'm doing or if it's like a bird's eye view shot of the food and me like you know chefing it up with the camera pointing down with not a lot of me in it per se or if it's like vlog style okay i was kind of thinking vlog style because a lot of times i probably well depends i might have someone here to help me film and then i might not so vlog style might be easiest for me because like on instagram i'm like cooking and holding the phone girl and it's it's kind of hard but I could use the phone and see if that works out instead of trying to use a heavy camera. Cause y'all know these new iPhones, they basically uh, mirrorless cameras at, right at our palms. That's why they cost so much. So comment down below, please comment down below. Uh, what type of like cooking video would you like the, the style of it? Me talking and you seeing what I'm doing or birds out or like vlog style. Cause I feel like vlog style, you will sometimes see me on camera, then see the food and just see what's going on around me, my surroundings, you know, what's in the pot, all of that. So now I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Hula Benefit Bronzer and kinda build that up and kinda here and kinda start that nose contour even before we apply foundation. So the Hula is a really good shade for me when it comes to like the nose contour because uh it's not too like dark i really don't like to go in this area with like the same bronzer that i use on my cheeks because it's just sometimes a little bit harsh and it, it kind of creates more work like when you go in with something super dark you gotta land and like make it work now not saying it won't work you know but i like to work smart not hard so this is what we're doing. And this is just kind of starting it out. Adding that to the actual shadow for a nice little blend. And it helps kind of soften up the brows in the, in the beginning of the brown. I think I'm gonna take this shade and put it on the lid. Let's see, I'm just gonna grab it on my finger and see how it looks. Yup, give us a nice little matte moment a nice matte moment with this pretty this very like velvety shade now if you wanted to you could cut the crease and make this pop a little bit more you can use a lighter shade you can use a darker shade you know it's just really what you feeling okay today this is what i'm feeling we're not giving too too much of the eyes i think i might even do a little liner girl oh okay so we're just doing a nice mini wing like that so we're gonna move on to skin today we're gonna be trying a new foundation and concealer actually but we're gonna start out with the og primer this milk hydro grip this primer has been doing me good in all climates texas chicago anywhere else i've been this primer has worked with every foundation concealer it's actually a really good primer and it has lasted me for so long we are going to be trying out the dose of colors meet your hue foundation this is a medium to full coverage foundation foundation you get one fluid ounce of product 30 milliliters and i have it in the shade 127 medium tan I have not tried this i bought this with you guys in mind we're gonna give it a try and i hope it works the packaging is really nice, a little frosted glass bottle. It says foundation, Dose of Colors Foundation, meet your hue all around the top. And it does indeed have a pump. So, I'm just gonna pump some out. Ooh, I hope it ain't too light. Now, I don't know if I really saw a lot on this foundation, but when someone was talking about it, I feel like they said good things, you know? So how do we feel about this shade? It actually looks pretty good. 
Looking pretty good now. This was two pumps. So I'm just gonna scoop it and take it. Now one thing I have learned is that foundation is not going to match you like 100%. Like unless we go into the, the, the manufacturer ourselves creating it, a lot of times we have to like kinda get to our closest match as long as it's not looking ashy, you're not too dark, too light, you know, the undertone matches, that's really the goal. Now I'm sure someone out there who probably can get their exact match, but it is pretty hard out here. So if you can't really find a match, you are not alone. This probably isn't like a 100% match, but it looks pretty good neck to chest. That's looking pretty good. So that's good, I'm happy about that. I'm loving the brows. I'm loving the brows. Like I haven't used a pomade in a very long time and these are just giving me so much life. I'm gonna take some of this Coudalie and just apply. Ooh, that Coudalie is so, it's like oil. It's like luxury. Yes, come on foundation, meet your hue. I am really liking this. So we have that on, I did also get a concealer. Now I got it in the shade 22 Dark. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but it's Dose of Colors Concealer. It has the Meet Your Hue around the top, very similar to the foundation. But I do, looking at it, it seems like it's a little dark. So we're gonna try it out. Oh yeah. It's a little dark and it's like a little pink. I'm gonna apply it, because it might cancel out some of this darkness under my eye. Yeah, this is very close to my skin tone like the same. I'm taking this Anissa Angled Concealer Brush and I feel like I wanna let this dry down a bit first. But I'm gonna use this brush to blend it out. One second. It looks really good and it really canceled out the darkness. It really canceled out the darkness. So I feel like I'm not mad at it cause I can still use it. Because you know what the other day I had realized like I had kinda stopped color correcting and just started to use a skin tone concealer. But those undertones and that orange and peachy um, color correctors really matter. I feel like it works way better than, you know, just a concealer that's your skin tone. So I feel like this can be kind of like my color corrector because it just corrected. I want a little brighter highlight. So I'm gonna go in with another concealer, Juvia's Place Concealer. I have the shade. 15, so give us some highlight. Yeah. And I feel like I wanna take some of that Dose of Colors concealer and just put it here. Because you kinda wanna bring some concealer there to kinda cancel out the darkness and the shadows. And if it's treating it like a color corrector, it can go there. When you use the same brush and the same tool, same sponge, same brush, it really allows for the residue to help blend the colors together. And that is indeed what we want. Like we want things to blend seamlessly and to come and kind of marry together and become one. Let me put some down the bridge of my nose. I am going to grab a Benefit Hello Happy Stick. I have the shade nine here. I do have 10, but I wanna start off with nine because it's gonna give us a subtle like warmth to the skin, to the perimeter where we wanna contour. I have it warmed up on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna just grab it from there and press. You see, very nice shade, very nice shade. Kind of bringing it up a bit, pressing it into the highlight. Who is she? Girl, because I ain't hardly here no makeup. I be going out and I be bare faced, child. I might put on a lip. I usually got something on my lips, so I'll be dry. But, so Vaseline, 
and I still be serving the girls, you hear me? So you want to make sure you get it in your hairline. Um, so you're going to get a little makeup in your hair. It's going to be like that. The ladies who wear the wigs, it's great to get a little bit of makeup there to help melt that lace. You don't want it to be like two different shades. I mean, not too much makeup, but just get it close, but just get as close to the hairline as you can. This is an Ulta Precision Foundation brush that I'm using. It has this slant. Really good for foundation, but I love it to press in that contour. Now, whatever's on the brush, I'm just about to tap right over here. Just tap it right in there. Without adding any more product. I'm just gonna tap it over. The highlight and you see how that just blended that super easy let that thin layer of concealer sit down the bridge of your nose and then tap over it with the residue basically and blend that on out the skin is looking really good I'm liking it so I'm gonna take a cream blush this is a Fenty summertime wine and I'm gonna use the same brush to apply it Stamping it on there. I'm gonna go on the back of my hand because you just wanna play it safe and blend and press it into all the bristles and then apply. Okay, we're gonna go in and set the under eye. But we gotta blend down these creases first. Now I'm taking Fenty Beauty um, foundation powder in the shade 300. And I'm pressing this under the eye. If you know 300 is not my shade, it is a highlight shade. Still has the warm yellow undertone that matches with my skin tone, but a little bit brighter. And I'm applying this powder in all of my highlighted areas. Not too much, but I am pressing it in. Now I'm gonna go with my Laura, Laura, <laughs> Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. And I'm gonna take it on a little powder puff. This is one that comes with the travel Laura Mercier. So I'm gonna press this under the eye. Just keep pressing it in. Cause this is gonna continue to set and add a little bit of brightness as well. Now I haven't added more to my um, powder puff. I'm just tapping it in. I'm tapping it to my brows too. What new products have y'all tried that y'all feel like I just need to try? Like, <laughs> need to try. Like, didn't I do a review on and y'all just want to make sure that y'all put me on? Let me know in the comments below. When I tell you I hadn't bought much, like many new products in a while, now I'm like getting back into the groove, so I'm like interested in what what's out here. Now I'm tapping the excess over. I did apply under the contour, you know, just a little bit, but I'm not adding more. I'm just tapping all over. But yes, girl, I want the goods. Have y'all tried anything new that's like popping and bomb? So for bronzer, I still I'm still using the um, Fenty Beauty. This is Karma Cutie. So I wanted to use something that's a little bit more cooler because sometimes I use the hula. So if I'm just doing my face and I'm not doing a full look and I didn't use any cream, I would grab this hula and then some blush and that'd be like my super throw on. This is a little bit too warm. This is the hula caramel. It's a little bit warmer than the caramel cutie and we got enough warmth from my foundation stick that we used. So grabbing caramel cutie and a brush. We need a brush. We need a, we're gonna take this Karma Cutie and we're gonna like tap that in. So you can swirl but tap the product into the face. Did you see how that just intensified us? Tap, 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 So, we still have to set our face. I'm gonna take another Fenty Beauty powder. This is a 345, so this is my shade. And I'm gonna use this to set my face. Y'all, can you believe it? I'm not using this before micro smooth powder. Oh my gosh, y'all for joy. Y'all know. 
I always use the Sephora Microsoft. Like this, you know what? This is a big deal. <laughs> I feel like I've been using the Sephora Micro School powder to set my face since I got on YouTube. Literally. I have like pretty much never really used anything else. Because honestly, I've always been scared. Because powders can mess you up, girl. But I found a friend in this Fenty. Ooh, y'all saw how I just blended that together. And it does the job. It has coverage. Sometimes I even use this on its own, which I can do a video on that if you want to see how I do a powder foundation look. But yes, this is the soft matte powder foundation in the shades 345. Now that blush is still shining through, but I am going to go on top of that with the MAC Extra Dimension Blush in Faux Shore. This is actually really similar to the shade of a Summertime Wine. Summertime is a little bit more intense, but they complement each other. And this one has like some shimmer to it because I might not add highlight. I haven't been adding highlight, y'all. Taking that blush on the same brush that we applied the uh, contour shade with, or the bronzer, and just apply that on the apples. We're gonna melt the powders. Okay, I'm back <laughs> with lashes and a little bit of color, the same shades that I use on my lid. Under the lash line, I use this pencil brush to do that. It doesn't have a number, but a nice little bullet brush. Now I'm going to highlight the inner corner with Expose from the Artist Couture Palette. I wanna use just a matte shade. I told you we're not really doing any shimmer, but look how this matte shade makes it pop. I have the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, so we're gonna use that today. It's a very tiny brush and a very tiny container to get to those bottom lashes, super easy. Sometimes I want a little bit of dew on my chin, so I'm actually gonna take the Danessa Myricks. Um, this is the Dew Wet, and it's in the clear shade, and it's like a little bomb, okay? And it's good to go on top of powders and on top of the skin. You just press that in and it gives you like that wet look, you see? Now I've used this on top of my skin by itself. Oof, I was giving esthetician girl, just left the esthetician. You hear me? Let me take it on this sponge. Put a little bit right here. A little bit on the cheeks. Won't hurt, won't hurt. Yeah, I feel like with makeup on, it's better to put it with the sponge. Ooh, do y'all see what I just did? Come on. A little bit in the middle of the forehead, and I'm gonna tap it down the nose. Mm-hmm. So no shimmer, just glow. No shimmer, just do. No shimmer, just wig, okay? Um, let's get into this lip so we can be done with this video. I know it's pretty long. So we're gonna do our double line like I usually do. I love that look. I'm gonna go in with Dose of Colors Cork Liner first. But I love doing a double liner and going on the perimeter with something darker. So let's see. Is this darker? Yes, it is. This is Juvia's Cola, right? Yeah. When you go on the perimeter with the darker liner and the same like family, it, it makes it pop to me. It makes the lips pop a little bit more. It gives like a fuller effect and it's just a bomb. Now I'm gonna go in with a gloss. This is Barely There from Juvia's Place. The packaging, it kind of rubbed off. But this is definitely from Juvia's Place called Barely There. I'm going to... Ooh, y'all see that? It's a nice pinky nude. And I feel like it goes with the eyes because the eyes and everything to me is pulling kind of pink. I don't know why. Maybe because of the blush. <laughs> Yay! Uh, so this, you guys, is the final look. I am really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. The foundation really came through. Um, the Dose of Colors meets your hue. I definitely would look as of right now. I would recommend it. I'm going to wear it a little bit longer and use it a bit more, um, especially in these um, hot days. But so far so good the color the 127 medium tan is indeed my shade and the face is just giving where am i about to go 
Somebody needs to come pick me up. Thank you so much. If you've been with me through this journey, we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. If you have not subscribed or shared me with your friends, tell your friends, tell your cousin, auntie, sister, brother, cousin, baby mama, baby daddy, okay, to subscribe to the Chic Marie channel and come and hang out with your girl. I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me and let's go. We 2022, we're doing it. 2021, 2022, we finna turn up, okay? Let me calm down. Peace.